the 15th of November, voters will be choosing the first elected mayor of Bristol. Bristol voters will also be joining voters from across Avon and Somerset to choose the first elected police and crime commissioner. Once elected, the mayor and police and crime commissioner will hold considerable powers. The mayor will set the council budget, lead council policies and priorities, appoint a cabinet and be a leader for the city. Uh, the police and crime commissioner will set the police budget, including the contribution to the police, pay through council tax, set police and community safety priorities and appoint the chief constable. To be able to vote in the elections, you need to be registered on the electoral register. On election day, polling stations will be open from 7am to 9pm. The voting system being used for both elections is called the supplementary voting system. My God. The ballot paper will have the candidates listed alphabetically by surname, but there will be two boxes next to each name. Voters will be able to vote for a first and a second choice candidate. If nobody wins over 50% of the first choice votes, then the two candidates with the highest number of first choice votes will go through to a second round of counting. In the second round, the second preference votes for the top two candidates from the eliminated candidates are redistributed until one of the two final candidates receives more than 50% of the vote. They are then elected. In some neighbourhoods, the number of people who vote is low, so please encourage people to vote. Okay. Please tell your neighbours and others in your community as well. Okay. Make sure your friends, family and work colleagues know about the November election too. Whoever you vote for, it's important to take part in the election, to have a say in deciding who will be making decisions about the things that affect you. 